All right, everything is trying to stop this video. People commenting and I had to answer the door and I was a solicitor and they, they did, I didn't, they went away. So, um, all right. Oh man. Okay. I'm trying to regroup here. All right. So this one of this, there's been a few songs, Cock Eyes by Audio Slave. Like I've heard that song, C-O-C-H-I-S-E. -C -E. I'm not sure how, how to pronounce that. Um, just take whatever resonates guys always, um, the song <sighs> had really powerful lyrics and it gave me chills. It was something about like, I've watched you drink the poison or I've watched you like fall into, you know, like go into your own demise and try to pull me into it type of thing. And like, I'm not going to drink the poison anymore. It's the lyrics are really powerful. So I don't know if that will resonate for anyone else. Um, Of course, it's not sidetracked. Okay, so I'm getting that like there's some plotting going on behind the scenes and possibly like some kind of third party situation. So I wanted to speak this because um, it's something I've experienced and that one of the most powerful things, it's both powerful, but it's also difficult because it can be draining to be, do things, a lot of things, you know, taking things on by, on your own. But like, you'll see when it's like, You'll start to, it's weird because it's, it's, it's can be frustrating because sometimes you're just like, I wish it would be like black and white. Like I wish it would be direct instead of it having to be like this subtle thing where, the, where everything is work going, the, everything is working on uh, behind the scenes and like you have to piece it together. Um, but There will be things that will happen where it's like people will like draw people together to go against you type of thing. And it's like, but it always works out in a way that it's like, I shouldn't say that always. Because sometimes it's, it is just like, there are definitely things, I've definitely experienced things that were just like evil. But pulling people together to go against someone, it's like. There's no need for that. Why would you do that? Why would you do? Why? Why do you need to group? Why do you need to get a gathering of people that's more energy going against another? Going, it's like a party of people going against one person, and it it does. It is hard. It is more draining. It is. It is um, hard to be feel like it, your people are shoot p picking sides, and and you're the one that's targeted. Um, it's like a dodgeball game. Like that's what it feels like. So. Um, like what's coming to me is like, there's so many things that I've experienced with Teddy that I've had to do on my own. And, um, but it also showed me that that's what's most important to me. I don't ever want to feel like I let my guard down again and fell for, fell for the, fell for temptation, fell for security, fell for the devil's tricks, fell for, fell for a, a, a thing that was going to draw me back into hell because I've seen it. I've seen exactly what it looks like when the devil comes to you and he's like, come with me. And it's, it's terrifying. And, um, I don't want to, I don't want to say that in a way that like it's, it's scary to any, it's scary to anyone because I don't think that it's, it is kind of scary. I mean, I do that. It's, it's a sad, it is, it's a sad thing to have to experience. Um, but it also does, it's like, it's, it's like, how else are we going to learn some of these things? Um, and there's a, there's a strength that you gain within yourself and like a linking up with your inner child and your higher self that you're like, I'm going to be unbreakable and I'm, and it doesn't mean that you won't find those people that you feel safe with. Cause it, that's okay. Thank you. That's the other thing is that once you create, once you're creating that bond and that safety with yourself, then you can recognize who feels safe. That's another big difference for me is it's like, I recognize quickly when it's like something feels like a plot or a scheme or, or even just, uh, unfortunately it doesn't, you don't pick it up right away. I mean, sometimes it's just like, it's a red flag and you're like, but you can't notice those things when you're, when you've been normalized to it, when you've been fed breadcrumbs your whole life, or you've been, um, sold lies and, and dealt with emotional manipulation your whole life, gaslighting, like all these things, um, gaslighting always felt bad to me, but it's like it, you, when you grow up in certain in types of environments where those things are normalized, it's like you really have to separate yourself from that to be able to see, 
Um, and I don't know why we don't get to have like, you know, more people in your life that you, you genuinely feel safe with or that, you know, you can count on because it's like, we're having to play this game and some of us have these different roles that we have to play. So, um, all right. So that I'm going to end that there. There's been some kind of tower that's given you some kind of enlightenment and that may be kind of why this is coming through. And you're, you've let go of some burdens and you're, you're in this kind of knight of pinnacles energy of like i even said that yesterday so it's interesting to me that like there's there's like a correlation there of like planning um like being grounded in the direction that you want to go and there's like a patience that's coming through with that um you maybe are Okay, I actually, they're actually saying there's like an illusion of this five of pentacles that's going on right now because they want you to feel that. Um, and something about death. And this, our page of cups is. He's reversed. Um, we had the star and the hair font together on the bottom. That's a very powerful like coupling um okay my eyes are drawn to the keys we got seven anxiety but also seven wands ready to fight not feeling lonely um all right let me just see really quick if there's anything else so i can wrap it up because this is like the third time i've tried to do this okay um there is something significant about this death out here, which is giving me something that's like something that's ending. Like I'm looking, it's drawing, I'm drawn to this like flag cause he's on the, and, and there's a skeleton on a horse and this and then there's like all kinds of symbolism on this card, but like, oh my God, that's so weird. Okay, sorry, like, give me another imagery, okay. Um, but I'm getting drawn, like, it's something about, like, the final battle type of thing. Like, it's, like, some kind of, like, you made it to this final chapter on this. I'm not giving me a lot. <laughs> There's some mystery involved in that. Okay, um, so that's for you to decipher, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I got thrown off because, like I said, it's the third time I've tried to come on. I'm trying to try to record this one. All right, love you guys. Be safe. Um, stay true to you.